Oakland's police chief is now responding to a recent decision by the city council to cut OPD's budget by nearly $18 million. And he is warning that this decrease in funding will make Oakland less safe. Chief Laron Armstrong joins us now live this afternoon. Thank you so much for joining me on the four. What are the effects, Chief, of these cuts? Well, it definitely will impact our ability to respond to 911 calls for service uh, faster. Uh, we obviously still face challenges uh, responding to calls as it speaks because we have low staffing numbers today at 714. So this will provide additional challenges for us to get to the number of calls that we have in the city for 911 services. Okay, so are you saying if, if I am calling in to report a robbery or a homicide that the department's response is going to be much slower? Well, it will impact our response depending on what priority. We're going to do everything in our power to get to calls as soon as we can, particularly emergency calls like you just mentioned. But having the, the additional resources that we need in order to meet the volume of calls that we take in every day, that is going to be a challenge, not just for the emergency calls, but for the calls that, of people just needing help right, or just having uh, issues that they need law enforcement assistance with. Uh, that will be challenged. Okay, so you are right now seeing a significant spike in violent crime. We've been reporting it throughout the year here on KTVU. 65 people killed so far this year. That's about a 90% increase in homicides compared to last year. How will the loss of funding uh, affect not only your response to the crimes, which you just outlined, but also your ability to try to prevent crimes like that? Well, our inability to staff some of our key units, like our ceasefire team, traffic enforcement team to deal with some of the fatal collisions that we've seen uh, in our city and the additional presence that we have with our 911 surge officers being in areas where we see high crime occurring where we have uh, identified areas where violent crime has continued to spike those are areas where we'll have higher presence those resources won't be available now we'll have to depend on overtime details to support that and put extra workloads on our officers and able in order to deal deal with those particular issues so it's going to be a challenge for us chief police spending remains at historically high levels you've heard the argument from folks they say that deeper investments need to be made in violence prevention programs and that police alone can't solve the crime problem yeah, I don't disagree. Everybody knows that most of my career has been one in which I've been fully in support of community based organizations and violence prevention being a response to violent crime, not just law enforcement. But I think in this moment, when we talk about 65 homicides, when we talk about huge increases in robberies and shootings, we in carjackings, we know that less resources uh, is not going to make us better or more efficient. Uh, this is a serious time right now, uh, a crisis. Uh, we just had a robbery occur at City Hall where reporters were robbed uh, uh, just uh, uh, over an hour ago. And so these are the challenges that we're facing. Two armed men approach reporters in the middle of, a, of an interview. That is the challenges that we're facing in Oakland is that this is reaching a crisis level. Uh, Chief, this is the first time that I'm hearing about this reported robbery. Can you provide any more specifics? Is that is that crew OK? That crew is OK. Fortunately, uh, they weren't injured. Uh, as a result of this, but two uh, men uh, came up to reporters, pointed firearms at them and demanded their camera. Uh, they had security, thankfully, and that security was able to scare off these robbers, uh, these armed robbers. Uh, we have good video and we'll be following up on the lead. But before our cuts happened, before budget cuts, we had resources dedicated to that area, walking into downtown. Those resources are no longer available. And so we always have to uh, look at the impacts of cuts, what is going to be vulnerable as a result of cuts. And that's what we have to deal with now in Oakland. Well, well, Chief, certainly glad to hear that colleagues are doing okay and that you have some good images and hopefully you'll be able to make some arrests soon. Before I let you go, though, just a few months ago, back in April, I believe, uh, that's when the city council allocated about $10 million to OPD and the fire department for foot patrol officers, for shot spotter technology and community safety teams. The council also then approving federal funds from the American Rescue Plan. Will any of that help to offset these latest cuts and have you received any of that funding yet? We have received some of that funding two months ago. Uh, that funding actually allowed us to deal with our sideshow detail to manage an issue that had been having a citywide impact. We've been able to curb sideshow in the city of Oakland as a result of that. 
we've also been able to have a greater presence in our Chinatown area where we had seen increases in crime as well because of that funding. So we have used that funding uh, effectively to address crime across the city, but it won't transfer into the new fiscal year of July 1. All right. Chief Laurent Armstrong, really appreciate you taking the time to talk with us this afternoon. Thanks again. Thank you, Heather, for having me.